The weather situation is much worse across the country. 38 deaths are being blamed on this heat wave, and it is expected to continue. It's 98 degrees in the shade. Trouble is, there is no shade. Just a scorching sun and not even the slightest breeze. Stay cool however you can and make sure you're drinking lots of water. Look closely at this team member. The sweat begins pouring off of him. His stomach is starting to cramp. He feels weak and nauseated. Then it happens. Heat exhaustion literally knocks him to the ground. You've just seen why the summer sun on your rig is not just uncomfortable, it can be dangerous, even deadly. Temperatures soaring into the high 90s or triple digits on your rig can quickly lead to serious conditions like heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke, which can be fatal. You're about to learn how you can avoid those hazards and greatly increase your chances of beating the heat and keeping your cool by following these four simple steps. Step one is the most important. Keep your body hydrated by drinking lots of water early and often. In fact, you should begin your tower by drinking at least four eight ounce glasses of water and then continue drinking water regularly. Don't wait until you feel thirsty. Stay away or cut back on coffee and other drinks with caffeine. And avoid drinking alcohol during your off time. These will only dehydrate you. Step two is to make certain you dress for working safely in dangerous heat conditions by wearing lightweight, light colored clothing. It's also a good idea to use sunscreen to protect your skin and make certain your safety glasses are tinted. Next, remember to work smarter. It's hot. So take frequent short breaks when possible and use the buddy system. Keep an eye on your team members and make certain everyone is drinking plenty of water. And don't forget about the Derek man. Make certain he has water and is staying hydrated. Finally, step four is to eat smaller meals more often during the day. You'll also want to stay away from foods that are high in protein. Just remember to drink water early and often and remain hydrated throughout your tower. Dress for weather in lightweight, light-colored clothing and work smarter by pacing yourself and take frequent breaks. Always use the buddy system and keep an eye on your team members. Eat smaller meals more often during the day. Team members who don't follow these steps and try to gut things out and just work through the heat are the ones that can get into serious trouble. It's the kind of trouble that can start quickly with some of the conditions we told you about earlier, beginning with heat cramps. Heat cramps start with a loss of water due to very heavy sweating. Symptoms include stomach or leg cramps. This is your first warning sign that your body is having real trouble with the heat. As soon as the symptoms begin, you should stop working, contact your rig manager, and get in an air-conditioned or cool area and drink a half of glass of water every 15 minutes. If you ignore heat cramps, you are likely heading for a more serious case of heat exhaustion. Symptoms include weakness and heavy sweating, nausea and dizziness. Your skin may also feel cold and clammy and you may begin vomiting. If these symptoms occur, contact your rig manager immediately and get the team member out of the sun and into an air conditioned or cool place. Apply cool, wet cloths to the body and have the team member drink a half a glass of water every 15 minutes. Trying to be tough and work through the signs of heat cramps and heat exhaustion could cost you your life with a heat stroke. When a heat stroke happens, you must act fast because a team member's sweat functions have shut down and his body can no longer cool itself. His temperature will soar to 105 degrees or higher, causing brain damage or death if his body is not cooled quickly. He will also have hot, red, dry skin and a rapid weak pulse. Get the team member into an air conditioned area. Have the rig manager call 911 immediately and cool the body with wet claws and fans. 38 deaths are being blamed on this heat wave and it's expected to continue for at least another three days. Just remember that heat is like any other rig hazard. You have to learn to work safely around it. Drink lots of water frequently. 
Use the buddy system and good common sense, and you'll be able to keep your cool when the heat's on.